Hi, I'm Frank Kirkovic, and I'll just give you an introduction here on how to use Comic Life. You see Comic Life appears as a speech bubble icon in the dock. If it's not located in your dock, you can access it from your applications folder in your hard drive or simply typing in Comic in the spotlight, and it would be the top hit. So you see Comic Life has opened. If you get this uh, notice for a new version, simply click Later. And you'll see you have a blank page and several templates here available in your iPhoto library underneath. So you just select a template by clicking and dragging it, letting go. And you can see there are also other pages of templates available as well. So I'm just going to drag a picture into a box here and simply by clicking, holding, and dragging it in there. And you see if I, this is the actual size of the photo, so it can be adjusted by any one of these uh, buttons here and it can be increased if you want to focus on one area and then that can be moved around within the box as well. I'm just going to add a title so I have this POW button here which is the title I can drag it up here let go this window will open simply type in your text click place lettering and you see it comes out quite small so you can adjust the size by dragging these blue uh, circles. We also have these pink arrows here. That's for for rotating. I'll just put that up here. And the photos as well uh, have that rotating button available. And if you want to put in the text box, you have this caption here, which you can drag up, let go, add your text. And if you want to make the text bigger or smaller you would do so here. If you want to change the color of the text use your colors button and if you want to change the font style simply use the fonts button. And these boxes can also be moved anywhere as well. And you also have speech bubbles available so again you just click and drag. And I'll just type in some text. And you can see it's quite small, so I'm just going to highlight it and make it bigger. And then again, I can stretch and whoops, stretch and resize. And you can see you have this orange button. It's wherever you would like to place uh, the direction of the speech bubble. Now, if you wish to change the color of the titles, uh, all text appears in uppercase so I would simply double click this that opens again if you need to make alterations and it will always appear as kind of from a red to a yellow so I'm going to change that by going into the details and you see I have a fill color and a gradient color so I'll just change this to red and let's say gray if I want to adjust where the direction of the gradient I would use this tool here And there's a few other features available, such as shadow, if you unclick the outline. If you need to add an additional page, you simply go to the plus button here. Another blank page opens, and you just simply re repeat the process. If you want to delete the page, you can either select the page and press delete or use the minus symbol. And you also have this widget tool here to delete pages and create new pages as well. So we're going to say we're done creating our comic here. I'm going to go into File and click on Save. I'm going to give it a title. Saved on the desktop. And if you click on this button, it can open and collapse uh, the window. So I'm just going to click Save here. And you hear a little bell sound, and it appears here on the desktop. Another useful tool you can do is export it, export it as a photo. You can export it directly into iPhoto. It's a bit time consuming though. I like to just export it to images and I like to change it to a JPEG and I'm going to put it on the desktop again. I'm going to keep the quality at high. Click desk, uh, export here and you see it appears in a folder on your desktop so I'll just open that and there it is there. And you can see there's a comic. So now this can also be dragged into iPhoto uh, as well. So it's pretty much all you need to know to get started on how to use this uh, 
creative piece of software.